looking for. We went up another deck. here really early. <laughs> Eli's taking pictures of the New York sign because he's so excited but we got here all early. We're super pumped. We've got about 50 minutes until we board so I think I'm gonna get a hot chocolate or a little bite to eat but they've got Christmas music playing and we're so ready. We've been up since two but it feels like you know we're real energized. We're ready to go right? So our flight was canceled and <laughs> it's not a problem except for the fact that I booked one thing for us to do today at four and now we're not going to be landing until four. So I also think that I forgot to pack my other pair of shoes. So like I laid all my shoes out and only had one shoe laid out with each outfit and I just like threw it in the suitcase and it was on my list to grab the other shoe and I think I forgot. I'm pretty sure I have one pair of each shoe in my bag. So. All right, we're off to New Orleans. First stop. No, it's not a joke. All right, so this morning our first flight was a direct flight, got canceled. We were supposed to be in New York around like 10.30 and um, by the time we got to our hotel, it would have been like noon. And I got canceled because of weather. So then we moved to a flight to New Orleans and then we're in New Orleans right now and we're about to fly to New York. So instead of getting there at noon, we're getting there at four. The only thing that's negative about that is we had a Cocos and Carol's little tour on like a boat at four o'clock and we will definitely not be making that. So I'm hoping that they either refund us or let us switch it to another day. It doesn't look promising, but that's the only thing we had scheduled for today. So we're trying to not be upset about that. We're trying to look at the positive. At least we're on a trip together. Um, but yeah, we're boarding in about 50 minutes and hopefully we get there soon so we can go see Bryant Park and Times Square. That's our plan tonight. Um, but we're definitely a little bummed. Literally out of our control, nothing we can do. Alrighty, we're on our flight to New York. Next stop, the Big Apple. So we're taking a bus and some shuttles. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, we finally made it in our room. We've had so many hiccups, but it was so worth it. So. We first, our flight was canceled, y'all know that. And then that caused us to miss our Cocos and Carols. I was on customer service on the phone with them trying to get it like rescheduled and it was such a mess. Then our char our card got charged for our hotel again. So we paid two times. So I was freaking out about that and just like figuring out New York transportation was stressful, but we got the, the double charge fixed. The Cocos and Carol's little holiday cruise, they're going to move our um, day for us so that we're not going to lose out and miss out on that. And we made it. We made it. We're here. I cannot even believe it. I'm freaking out. And as soon as we walked in our room, look what was on the mirror. Melody, which if you guys don't know who that is, she does teacher gram and YouTube and TikTok, and she's actually from Tulsa. And so we have 
bonded over the years and look what she left she called and had them leave snacks for us i can't i can't so sweet i am like way too lucky to have a friend like her but anyways let me show you the room tour also she recommended this to me so that's another reason why she knew where we were staying and why like i trusted this place so bathroom so cute very small but you know we're in new york here's the shower no bath but that's okay and then cute little mirror here's the little bed and then look at this view y'all eli's just been staring at it for the past couple minutes Ooh! oh my gosh it's so pretty so we've been up since like two o'clock in the morning but we're we've got like an energy at least i do so we're gonna hit the town i think we're gonna do bryant park and times square tonight and we'll see what happens maybe we'll do something else since we had to move the cocos and carols so we can like cross something else off our bucket list but we're excited as you can see we did make it out of our hotel and we rallied we headed to bryant park and they had so many cool shops and stores that you could look at. And they also had a lot of Christmas decor. They had food places and little dessert shops. And they also had a huge ice skating rink with this beautiful view. <laughs> After having so much fun in Bryant Park, we headed to our dinner spot, which Eli picked out. It was called John's Pizzeria, and Eli found it on the One by app. I guess they had a really good rating, so we tried it out, and it was delicious. And they also had really cute Christmas decor in, and it was a really good way for us to warm up because we were so cold. All right, y'all. Night one in the books. We have been up since 2 a.m., but we rallied. We went to Bryant Park and times square and joe's not joe's pizza what was it john's. john's pizza and now we're going to bed because we're exhausted and we're getting up at seven o'clock in the morning to go to angelina paris to get some yummy hot chocolate before the rockets all right y'all we finally made it back to the hotel we're so tired we did all of this on four hours of sleep so we're gonna go to sleep we're gonna wake up at seven and go to Angelina, is that right? Something Angelina like Paris. Um, but it's been a really good day. We were just talking about how amazing today was and we were only in the city technically for like four hours. So mm, we can't wait for tomorrow. Good morning. We woke up in New York for the first time. Eli's looking out the window at the beautiful view. Um, our plans today are go to Angelica Paris, which apparently the wait is two and a half hours. So we're going extra early. They open at seven and we'll be there by eight. And then our next place after that is the Rockettes. And then we're going to take a little nap because we got about seven hours of sleep last night, but we got two out or no, four hours the first night. So we need to catch up on our sleep a little bit. So we're gonna nap and kind of clean up the room because it's a disaster. I'll show you all in a second, but we're gonna kind of get organized after that. And then the last thing we have tonight is Friedman's, a reservation, which is supposed to be a really good restaurant. And then um, after Friedman's, we're going to Dagger Heights, which is like a neighborhood, I think in Brooklyn that has a ton of really crazy Christmas lights. So. That's our plan for today. We'll see if we make it to all of it. Hopefully we do, but we're gonna bundle up and get out of here. And here's our room for reference. It looks dirty, but it's just so small. So we need to find a good organizational way to have all this stuff out. But we're gonna do that when we get back and we're gonna head out. In time Square! Ah! <laughs> Our breakfast spot for the morning was Angelina Paris and it did not disappoint. We got there really early because we thought there would be a huge line because it went viral on TikTok a couple of times. And since we got there so early, there was no line at all. I of course got the viral hot chocolate and Eli got a lot of pastries and some coffee and it was delicious and it was absolutely gorgeous on the outside and in. 
since we got there a little bit early, we had extra time to explore the city before heading to the Rockettes. So we found these ornaments, which were way bigger in person. We stopped at Sephora and we also stopped at the Lululemon. We then stopped at the Aritzia store and then it was time for us to go to the Radio City Music Hall to watch the Rockettes perform. These ladies were absolutely incredible. I'm so glad we made time to do this and I will go see them if I ever go back to New York City. Right after the Rockettes, we were heading to explore a little bit more, and then we randomly ran into my mentor teacher. This is who I'm walking with, and I student taught with her about four years ago, and I just cannot believe I randomly ran into her. It was such a highlight of the trip. Just Saint went Patrick's. in the St. Patrick Cathedral, y'all. It's a so man! Yeah. We then stumbled upon this shopping center, which was so bougie. They had Prada, Gucci, Tom Ford, all of these crazy expensive brands, and they had the coolest escalator and displays. All right, y'all. We have had such a busy morning, and since we woke up super early, we decided to come back to the hotel before dinner and before Diker Heights to take a rest. So I literally have my pajamas back on, and Eli's in the bathroom. And we're about to close this blind and we're going to take a nap and set an alarm to get up for dinner and then Diker Heights because Diker Heights is a long drive and then, or a long journey. And then, sorry, I did not get that off. It's bothering me. There we go. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a nap because we're so tired. We're still, we got good sleep last night, but about six or seven hours. And then, uh, we're, we're the night before we're running on four. So we're gonna take a nap and then we're gonna wake up and go to dinner. I still just cannot get over the view. It's so pretty. Our dinner spot was called Friedman's and it was delicious and the waiters sang. All right, we just finished dinner and we came back, put tons of layers on and we're headed to the Diker Heights area where all the Christmas lights are. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Lots of walking, but we want to do it. So we're going, I think it's like 645 and we'll be there around eight ish. And then we're going to stay for an hour or so. So we're super excited. It should be worth the hype, I think, but this is our longest little journey to travel. So here we go. It's brain. We are currently walking to the Diker Heights. We rode the subway and it's so scary. It's probably not a good choice. We probably should have went on a tour. I don't know. My mom would be very upset if she knew where I was right now. All right, we're like two minutes away. Honestly, the beginning part was very scary, but it's better now. But we have like four minutes until we get to the destination. Um, don't do this at home. <laughs> Professionals are involved here. After experiencing Diker Heights, I highly recommend it to anyone that's going to New York City during Christmas time. We had an absolute blast and the lights were amazing. I mean, every street we went down, it just got a little bit better and a little bit better. A lot of websites online told us to book through a tour guide or through a group. And honestly, I would say do it on your own. The only reason that we were in a dangerous area was because we took the wrong subway and it rerouted us and we kind of were in a weirder spot of town. But on the way home, as you'll see, it was such a safe area. We felt totally fine and we went pretty late at night. So I highly recommend subwaying over to see Dagger Heights Christmas lights because they were amazing and this was completely free for us to do. All right, Eli, was it worth it? I think so. 
it was really cool that that really big house was super cool um but we are headed back we're hoping it's taking us a different route back but we're not gonna lift it's like sixty dollars to lift two dollars to ride the subway so we're gonna try to save some money and hopefully this different route it looks and feels a little bit safer we'll see <laughs> They also had a lot of hot chocolate vans and little fast and easy dinner vans that you could buy food and snacks from. So if you go over there hungry, don't worry, they'll have stuff for you there too. I don't know where we are, but it's a lot safer over here. <laughs> <laughs> if Eli would stop butting in about the subway, we would be home by now. <laughs> he does not know how it works at all. All right, y'all, we finally made it back. It is 11.10. What a journey we went on. So we went on the wrong subway, thanks to my lovely husband. Um, so that was the first thing. We went on the wrong subway, so we had to get off and get on a different one. Since we went on the wrong one, we had to reroute, and the reroute was dangerous. Like, when I was talking on the camera, saying I was nervous, I was terrified. It was actually really scary. Are you okay? And then we got there and it was safe once we got to the area because there was a ton of people there. And then we took, we went home and it took us a different route on the safer area, which I showed y'all a little bit. So I don't know where that was, but we were in a much safer area on the way home. Then again, my lovely husband, we're going to get on the subway to go home. And he was like, no, 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 this is the wrong one. It says the wrong words. And I was like, no, that's right. Well, we were going back and forth and it left and the next one didn't come for a whole 20 minutes. So he's no longer allowed to do subway things. He obviously doesn't understand it. So I'm on subway duty the rest of the week, but we finally are back. It was such a good day and we're showering and going to bed and we're sleeping in tomorrow and we're kind of going to have a slow morning. We have a lot of like things planned, but it's kind of our choice of like when and where we want to go because... It's just like things that we want to do. So the big thing tomorrow is ice skating and seeing the tree. And then I think we rented a chalet for the Rockefeller Center. So exciting. Here is day three of our time in New York City. We are up around 10. We slept in today because our Diker Heights travel was insane. Um, and we didn't get in bed until midnight. So we are up. We got up at nine leaving at 10 right now. We're going to Lafayette. I think it's Lafayette, but they have really famous croissants that are filled with chocolate and jellies. So we're gonna go over there. That's about 20 minutes. And then after that, we have a shopping day. Our big thing today is um, Carmine's at one o'clock, which is a very popular restaurant that everyone's recommended. And then um, Top of the Rock, ice skating, and we rented out a little chalet thing at the Rockefeller Center. So busy day but our morning is a little less planned like we don't have to be places at a certain time and the first place we have to be at is Carmine's so let's go so we arrived at the bakery and let me tell you this was totally worth the trip it's really close to NYU's campus so while you're over there you could check that out but these croissants were so yummy we grabbed some coffees and some other pastries, but they're really well known for this croissant right here. And it was so delicious. Eli and I split this one and we loved it. It was also really cool because while we were in the bakery, they were shooting some sort of movie or TikTok campaign, but they had really expensive cameras and actors like walking in and out of the bakery. And we thought it was really interesting to watch. While we were in this area, we decided to explore a little bit because we knew we wouldn't be back here. We went into some shops and then we randomly ran across the Washington Square Arch, which was absolutely stunning and beautiful. We are shopping before our reservations at Carmine's. Maybe, I don't know if we can eat at all. All right, y'all, we have had such a busy morning. We went to Lafayette Bakery. It was so good. We got one of the last little croissant things and we tried a lot of their other goods. It was so yummy. And then we wanted to go see NYU because we were close by. And then after that, we were debating on going to Little Italy. 
but we didn't have enough time because we had to get back here to Carmine's at one o'clock for a reservation. We went into some stores before that and then we went to eat at Carmine's. Eli, what's your review? Of? Carmine's. It was good. So good. Cozy vibes. So busy. Make sure you make reservations if you're going there. Um, but we got ravioli and we didn't get anything else because we knew we would not be able to eat it. And we don't have a fridge in our room. So we couldn't bring it home. But it's such huge serving. So we've got ravioli and then they gave bread for free. And we both got Coke. So we're feeling energized. We have Top of the Rock in like 20 minutes. So that's where we're headed now. And then... We're maybe going to go shopping after that. And then we have ice skating tonight at the Rockefeller ice skating rink with the big tree. And we we um, reserved a little chalet thing. So we'll do that after. So lots of exciting things. It's been such a good day. So excited. This was probably our favorite experience in New York City. If you're going any time out of the year, I highly recommend doing this. We chose the Top of the Rock because we wanted to be able to see the Empire State Building. And I'm so glad we did. We got our tickets around September and they were well worth the money. It was a very organized process and it was breathtaking to see all of the beautiful buildings had a ton of shops on the bottom level that you could shop at or grab a snack from and then you could also see the ice skating rink the tree and once you go outside you get to see both the Saks Fifth Avenue light display and the tree we had some time in between our top of the rock time and the time that we were going ice skating at the Rockefeller Center so we decided to explore we went shopping we saw the library the New York City library which was amazing and then we went into the Empire State Building I literally felt like I was in the movie Elf and outside of the Empire State Building I just sincerely did not realize how big this building was it is so much taller in person we then headed to the Macy's store because I heard that they had really cool displays so we checked out their window displays and I also wanted to see the big wreaths and ribbons hung on the side of their building oh it was beautiful and then we headed back to the hotel all right we came back to the room after shopping and walking around we probably walked so the most we have so far we lay down for a little bit and then now we've got all of our cold gear on we're gonna go ice skate at the big tree the rockefeller center we're so excited and then we have a little chalet booked so we'll relax here ah! Look at the tree. It's, so cool. it's so cool We 
booked a chalet to warm up in after we ice skated and y'all look how stinking cute this is they served us food and it was just a nice little space to warm up and also watch people ice skate. Alright y'all, we just finished ice skating and we rented a little chalet for afterwards. As you can see the trees right there and we can see all the ice skaters and we just ordered hot chocolate and fondue. We just got our hot chocolate. Eli you know, said it's Swiss Miss, which is a good news for us because we've been drinking straight up Hershey bars and it's too rich for us. Fondue fondue. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just finished at the little chalet. We had fondue for two, hot chocolate. It was definitely overpriced, but very good and worth the experience because we got to sit here, warm up under the tree, and watch people ice skate. It was so fun. Um, definitely recommend. And you have to book it really early. I think we booked it one. September, October, I don't know. But we're gonna go pay and get out of here. I'm gonna grab a Dr. Pepper and we're gonna try to find I Love New York shirts to match tomorrow. All right, y'all, we just got back. It was such a long day, but a really good one. Um. We decided to come in tonight and just go to bed at a normal time because we're so tired. We've been walking so much today, probably more than any other day. So we're going to take a shower, go to bed early. Tomorrow we've got Central Park and Wicked at 7. Oh, and our um, Coco, Coco's and Carol's was rescheduled to tomorrow. So we will be doing that tomorrow and Wicked and then Central Park and probably other stuff in between but we're gonna go to bed take a shower and go to bed because we're exhausted good morning here is day four of our time in new york we have today and tomorrow left so i'm getting a little bit sad but yesterday was such a highlight i don't know if we can top it today but we're going to central park we're going to stop at ralph lauren the store and then they have a coffee store called Ralph. So we're gonna stop and try that. And then we're going to go on a little carriage ride this morning around Central Park and explore that. And then we've got our Cocos and Carols at 1.30. So we'll leave around 12.15 to catch that. But we're excited, it's gonna be a good day. And yeah, and here's Eli again, looking out the window. <laughs> We had to start the day off in TJ Maxx so that I could buy a couple more layers because I was freezing. And then we walked through Central Park to the Ralph Lauren store and it also has a coffee shop connected to it that is called Ralph's. Mm -hmm. There is a cute little truck that is located closer to New York City and all the buzz, but I highly recommend walking to the Ralph Lauren store and to the coffee shop that's connected to it because it was magical in there, let me tell you. We are walking to Coco's and Carol's. Good afternoon, everyone. came back to the hotel for a little pit stop, bathroom break, relax time. And now we are headed to, I think it's Ellen's Diner. And it's supposed to be a really popular diner. And then after that, we're going to see Wicked. So busy night. This is our last night here that we're staying the night. So we're excited. We're sad the trip is ending, but we're getting a little tired. So we've done a lot of stuff today and it's been such a good day. In line. 
trying to see Wicked. Ah! <laughs> we have to get a right here, those things right here. Why is it like an only man? Here's our last day. We're checking out. We've got all our bags packed. We're going to have them hold our bags because we don't fly out until 8. So we have to leave the city at 5. So we're going to go check our bags down at the lobby because they said they hold them for us. And then we're going to eat at Sarah Beth's first thing this morning. We started our day by eating breakfast at Sarah Beth's. And this was actually not in our itinerary. We just squeezed it in and made reservations the night before and got lucky. It was also on the same street as the Plaza Hotel, which we needed to see that day, and the Apple Store. So we got really lucky with location and timing, and this morning was a blast. The Plaza Hotel was so cool. I wish we could have gone inside. I really wanted to do brunch at the Plaza, but they were full on reservations, and we looked in September, and the Apple Store was super cool too, but a little underwhelming. Eli and I both said that when we come back with his doctor money, we will definitely be staying at least one night in the Plaza Hotel. After that, we did a carriage ride in Central Park. We got to see some really iconic spots like the Friends Fountain, a lot of the Home Alone spots, and the Elf Snowball Fight Bridge. We then hopped over to Serendipities for lunch, and let me tell you, this was probably my favorite lunch spot. You have to get the frozen hot chocolate. I still have dreams about it now. After eating lunch, we headed to the Grand Central Terminal. I had to have my Gossip Girl moment, and this place was a lot cooler than I expected. We were pretty much just trying to cross everything off of our list because we had to leave this evening at 5 to get to the airport on time. So after Grand Central, we went to the Cartier store because I have dreamed of seeing the building display. It was breathtaking. We also hopped in the Nike store, which was very overwhelming but super cool. And then the MLB store. And then we kind of just sat for a little bit and took it all in because we were really close to leaving. The last store we went into before going back to our hotel to grab our bags was the M&M store. We had kept saying we wanted to go in there and we never made it inside the store. So we did that. Then we headed back to the hotel to grab our bags and caught a taxi for the airport. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will drop all the links to all of our activities and all of my outfits down below in the description.